Hey everybody, it's Heisen Nerd here, alongside Geek Mora. We're back with a uh, entry into Joe Manganaro's 100 subscriber giveaway. And uh, first off, man, that's amazing. Like just <laughs> like last week, I feel we were just doing your 50 subscriber giveaway, so you skyrocketed right away. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats, <laughs> man, and deservedly so because you make amazing videos. We're gonna link your description below for anybody who hasn't checked out Joe. He's a genuine friend. Like he is awesome. He comments on our videos and is just such a nice person. He does unboxings. He gets great things. Um, he just did a Freddy Krueger glove unboxing that I really was jealous of. One of these days, I'm gonna get one. We've seen them in the flea markets, and I need one so bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, he uh, he's doing a giveaway for his 100 subscriber hit, and um, his question he asked a question and asked us to make a video to um, what horror movie or event in a horror movie like traumatized us or shocked us or amazed us the most and uh, that was a really excellent idea and very tough to choose like narrow it down to just one singular like movie or event and so I think I might uh, touch base on one of each of the questions but I'm gonna let Geek Mora tell you hers first okay well I was debating between two and the first one that came to mind because it's kind of recent is from the new the Evil Dead remake and I've, I've only seen it like twice I've only seen the old Evil Dead like twice so I've, I haven't seen it like a million times or anything I don't have them memorized but like the blonde girl in the new Evil Dead remake, like, she realizes, like, that she's being, like, infected oh, yeah. with the virus or the demon or whatever, and it's, like, running up her arm, so she's, like, gonna cut her own arm off, and, like, she tries to cut her own arm off, it, like, doesn't come off all the way, and I just remember her, like, standing by the fridge, and, like, her arm just, like, slides <laughs> off, and then, like, after that, like, as they're, like, trying to defend themselves from her, like, I don't remember 100% of everything that happened to her, but I know she got shot in the face with the staple gun like 10 times. <laughs> and then like the traumatizing thing about it, like, cause I could deal with all that, but then she like came back from being like the demon oh, to being like the regular person that was like awful. that she was and she, like, she was such a nice person. She was just like, why, like, why are you doing this to me? And I definitely had nightmares about it for like, at least like, a few days as a grown adult so that was kind of traumatizing that was pretty they they definitely made <laughs> that evil dead a whole lot more graphic i feel the like. old one was graphic it was just it was it was, it was, it was kind of cheesy i don't get us wrong <laughs> yeah. evil dead and ash are definitely, definitely awesome. one of our favorites but we love the old classic evil deads but this one took it to like a modern day gory level yeah it's one of the modern day horrors that like you can come to expect they're gonna go above and beyond with the gore and yeah, that was really intense. It, it was traumatizing. That yeah. was an awesome. The movie. other one that I was gonna say, and this one's like way classic back in the day, is like the exorcist scene where she's in oh. the bed <laughs> with the cross and like her her mother's there. I'm not gonna get too much into it because like it's not. The, Everybody's pretty yeah, much seen the exorcist. If you're a horror fan, you probably know the scene I'm talking about. But yeah. that scene was pretty. We were talking like, about that earlier. <laughs> it was pretty traumatizing to me too. That's so. a pretty graphic. <laughs> that's an older movie too, and so for our generation, like we were. We, for that to be graphic, to, like, we were our kids generation. when we saw that. So. I didn't see that as a kid. I was. <laughs> a, I watched that with my parents as a child, so that movie was really like intense. Yeah, that's an intense movie. But yeah, that would be my second scene. Sorry we gave you, we're giving you multiples, Joe, but <laughs> yeah. um, we couldn't help it. Yeah, because you asked if you, if like a movie or a, like an event in a movie, and I couldn't help but think when I, I... I've been going to the movies about once a week for the last like 15 years. I go with my grandfather, and uh, I remember one time we saw the Texas Chainsaw Massacre the beginning trailer and I've been such a big fan of that series I was so stoked to actually get a prequel and like a story like an origin story of the Hewitt family and like where Thomas and Leatherface like came from and that was so exciting to find out that it was being made and then to see it was phenomenal that is definitely one of my favorite horror films of all time Texas Chainsaw Massacre the beginning but an event that really traumatized me, 
there, I, and I did my research. I made sure this was a horror film before I did like, before I came up with this because I didn't want to ruin the whole theme of the video. Um, Stephen King's The Mist, the the most recent one. I didn't see the original, but the most recent one that he made at the very end when. Um, if you don't know the movie, like, scientists have been messing with different dimensions and portals and they've come to, like, create, like, this portal where, like, aliens and monsters come through and, like, the whole world's getting destroyed and they fight their way through it as much as they can through the mist with all these creatures attacking them and it comes to the point where they just give up and everybody, the whole group has just given up and there's only enough bullets for everyone but the main character I'm not 100% sure who that actor is, but he's phenomenal. He played the Punisher, and he chooses to kill. He pretty much kills everybody that's left in the car with them, and um, goes out outside to face the monsters and be devoured by them himself. And right after that happens, like after all the murder of all his like his child and his girlfriend and his like newfound friends. He comes to find out that the military has just like solved the problem. Earth is now saved, and there's no more worry. And he just murdered like his son. And I I can't watch that movie and see the ending without feeling this completely devastated. Like, cause I can put myself in that situation where you pure panic, and then like <laughs> it's just the <laughs> wrong time. And that it hits me like that every time I see it. So that right there has to be the most traumatizing event in any horror movie I've watched. I haven't seen The Mist. You got it. We're definitely going to have to pop I, you, that in. You told me about that, though, the other day. <laughs> that ending. Before, so, before your contest, Joe, so... Yeah, we, we've been talking about it, and I've been trying to figure out, like, a way to, like, put it into, like, this video, and I just, like, that's the way that, like, he just, he kills his son and then realizes, like, everything's fixed, and it's so sad. But, um... <laughs> Sorry to make it so long. Yeah. But <laughs> Back to the important thing, Joe. Joe, uh, 100 congrats on a hundred. Um, <laughs> leave. We're gonna leave your link in the description below. Congrats again, man. You're amazing. Keep up the great work, and um, good luck to everybody else. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Y'all have a good night. Size and nerd out. See you later.